So I, I don't want to be hacking away all my overage lines because it's going to break up the brush strokes. So what we're going to do is select our... What do you think? Some big fat lines today? I agree, guys. Let's do some big fat lines. I'm going to pop those up. Now on some of these, I do want the overage, the little taper. I want those hanging out in the middle. I want that hanging out in the middle. Now this one, since it's touching on this one, and I want this coming out, I think I want it to be a little bit fatter and then swoop out. So whenever things are touching, touching, and they're not actually floating out in the space, then we can kind of change up the, the brushes a little bit. So the one I just selected has a fat, skinny, fat brush. Let's go one, two, three. Now if you get any overages, we can, the next step is we're gonna go through and we're gonna delete all those. And right now all the lines are black, which is fine. We'll still clean those up, uh, clean those up later. Good, let's do taper, taper. Skinny on both ends. One, two, three. And then do notice that everything is still a stroke. So if I say, hey, I wanna be able to see this part of the ear a little bit more, I can always drop this down and I can still modify. If I wanna smooth out this part, I can still come in. So there's still a lot of editing we can do and it's still quite flexible. Let's just grab these. Man, I didn't even try on those, just some squares. It's pretty funny. All right, so now, just so you can kind of see the, the thought process, once we start adding in the thickness, I can start modifying where my brushes and where my shapes are, just so they can still stand out. So I still want to make sure that I can see the eyebrows coming through. Most of this is going to get, eh, let's go fat on both ends. Fat on both ends. I want this to be tapered on both ends. I want this one. This one's going to go stop right here. Oh, I say fat on both ends. Let's see what that does. Let's go fat on both ends. 0.5. All right, let's do the face. This is actually going to stop. Let's cut this one out right here. And while we're doing it now, is the thickness, so now, to, now that we can kind of see some of these lines, the thickness will actually carry all the way up to here. So I actually want it to be fairly fat as it hits the, the ear part here. All right, I say fat on both ends. It's not selected, fat on both ends. Two, three. Good. Let's go tapered, fat in the middle. I say let's try two and just see what that does. Good. Let's go, f I want fat over here. Whenever you're doing some of these brushes, I do have both angles or both directions for them, meaning a lot of these are the exact same brush. It's just one is going in one direction, the other is going the other direction. Now why we have both is just so we can click on it and I think it's easier to just click on brush brush. You can change the direction after the fact, but I think it's a way slower process. Okay, let's do fat on both ends on this one. This one, I might just drop this and let's just go two here. That might just get to be a black area, even the same over here. So this is just kind of getting a lot of those initials done. One, two. I want it fat at the top and tapered down. So if you don't get it the first time, just switch it up. This one's gonna be tapered on both ends. 
This will be fat on both ends. Now this, if, so see, notice how this brush, see how it's fat over here, fat over here? If I come in with my scissor, so I just click C, I can just modify that stroke. So now that these are separate, and it just changes where the thickness is. So you can come in and modify that as well. Uh, what do we think is going to show on this? I think we can get rid of that guy. So that was just C, by the way. I say we just keep that one alone. Let's just kind of thicken that up. Let's go tapered on both ends. I say go fat on both ends. Whenever we're doing this too, uh, a good little thing to just start paying attention to is just kind of look at all of your cartoons that you're currently watching, even comic strips, and just pay attention to what the brush strokes are doing. So a lot of people will have their own unique brush work Notice, I like really fat lines. There's other people that don't use lines at all. So it, it's really just kind of a per personal preference, and any of them are fine. So if you weren't going to do any ink strokes, basically you would move straight into the color demo, and it would still play out actually the same way. Okay. Good. I'm still zoomed in. We'll zoom out later and just make sure that everything is... Uh, how we want it. I want fat up here, skinny down here. Let's go the opposite. One, two. Let's do the same over here. It's probably not. Oh, look at that. I treat it as a very nice little victory every time I get it the right time. Uh, let's go fat up here, skinny here. This will actually take that back. Let's. This is going to be the one in front. Let's chop out this. Let's chop out this. So these both can go fan on both ends. And more than likely, we're going to switch these to white, but let's just do kind of a fat. You can also do the other one. Fat on both ends, but it kind of makes some fun little shoelaces there. All right, guys, we are just flying. We are flying. Um, I say we just fatten these up. We're not going to do a whole lot. All right, so now since both of those edges are out in the middle, we're going to taper on both. Let's go two. So this one comes in, I want it to be fat when it goes in. Opposite. Now just so you guys have an idea why it's always you're always switching back and forth, depending on which point went down first is usually the default on where the, the thickness goes. So that's why we kind of switch both of them. So that's why sometimes it just doesn't make any sense on which one's which. All right, I'm going to go Shift-C. So I'm just looking for any little funky little bumps. And all I'm doing is using the arrow tool and I can still modify my points. Uh, that's probably not that bad. Let's swing you back over. This, I'm gonna want fat on both ends. We are almost done, guys. We are just cranking. Good. Now I'm gonna zoom in, just so we can kinda see. Now whenever we're adding the brush strokes, just be aware it does modify the stroke a bit. So for just placement, even a lot of these edges too. So when I'm kinda, we might have to, so when we expand, notice this little funky little triangle. We might have to come in and clean that up. Uh, other little thing not to worry about whatsoever is there is a bit of translucency, right? You can kind of see through these these lines when we expand them and uh, start adding our colors. It's not going to matter. Let's just extend this up. Mm. All right. 
Let's do this. Let's go Black Arrow. And we're not going to do anything with the brushwork, but we do want to just... Let's just fatten those up. Same thing over here. Let's do both of them. This is probably going to get filled in, by the way. But we can still just fatten those up. Let's come over here. Let's grab our little hairs. All right. I think that'll play out. All right. So now what we're doing, notice that I just zoomed out. And what we're looking for is what's standing out. So notice how this hair, how that thickness is standing out a bit. So now I can come back through. And let's just start kind of fattening up th some things. So we're looking for line variation, but we also want it to be fairly consistent going through as well. Good, good. Let's go 2.5 on that one. Same thing, 2.5. Let's fatten that one up. Three. 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 And this is going to fill in. Let's cut that guy out. And I want, there's going to be a little taper right here, and that's going to be what I'm looking for. All right. Save check. Okay. So at this point, all right, so at this point, uh, we've added our line variation. We are on a separate layer. And we've already added all of our brushes. So at this point, we're pretty much ready to start the coloring process. So what I want you to do is you're going to save. And then we are now going to be moving over to the color video. And then we'll start from there. So I'm just going to take these little lines. We're just going to move these up. So at this point, while everything is still a stroke, I can still come in and I can still modify some things. So kind of come through. What we're really looking for is that we have all of these fun little overages. And that'll make our lives very easy when we come back in and do the eraser tool. So that's when we're going to start cleaning everything up. So we'll do that in the next video. So we're going to clean every, all the, the little overages up. That is also going to play into our colored lines. So that's why we're going to do it on the color video rather than this video. But other than that, make sure you guys are subscribing. Make sure you guys are liking. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, make sure you guys do fill that in the, uh, the comments below. I do read those and I do uh, answer if you guys have any uh, pending questions, uh, especially on any of the videos. But what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the nerd coloring demo uh, at this point.